Hi everyone! My name is Wayne Unton and I'm an animator at Walt Disney Animation Studios. I started at the studio in 2005 and more recently I was the animation supervisor of Elsa in Frozen 1 and Frozen 2. Uh, so I'm here today to teach you guys how to draw Elsa. So first we're going to go ahead and start with a circle. Uh, we're going to do this very lightly. This is going to be kind of like uh, the construction uh, lines that uh, we can anchor all the, the features onto. So first I'm going to draw a circle. Um, I'm going to do a line in between. And then a line below that one between this middle line and the bottom of the circle. Again, very lightly. Um, then I'm going to put a line not in the center, but a little bit to the left. Um, this is going to be our center line, but she's going to be looking a little bit to the left. So that's why I'm just going to have it a little bit offset. And actually, you know, I, I actually don't really do construction lines like this. Um, it, it's funny, I, when I was practicing uh, for this video, uh, I started uh, doing these construction lines because it's really helpful uh, for putting in all the different features. Um, but I found that my drawing didn't quite look like Elsa. Um, usually uh, when I'm drawing her, I think about what she's feeling and, um, you know, what really what she's thinking, what she's feeling. And uh, it, the drawing feels a little bit more looser and it actually feels a little bit more like Elsa. So just something to keep in mind. Um, right now we're just starting to learn her, how to draw her. so. Uh, this is really good and, and helpful, but if you continue to draw her, uh, just think about uh, um, her personality uh, as you draw her, and I think that helps loosen it up. But right now we're just having fun. So let's go ahead and we're going to just put in some of her features. So I'm going to start with the eyes, and I'm going to put that where the bottom of the lid touches this line right here. And I'm just doing this very, very, very lightly. She has almond eyes, which means that uh, this outer corner right here is a little higher And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in a slight indication of the brows. Um, before I do that, I just want to show uh, this center line can come in really handy. Um, instead of drawing the brows in right above the eyes, uh, I'm going to have it a little bit offset to the left. And here's why. So I have this little uh, paper guy right here, and uh, I folded it to have kind of like contours, uh, the contour of a face. And I have a line going straight down the center. So it looks straight now, but as soon as I turn the face, you can see how the brows are a little bit left of the center right here. And so is the nose. The nose is a little bit to the left. And that's because the brows and the nose are a little bit closer to us. So they appear a little bit more to the left. So with that in mind, um, I'm going to go ahead and draw the brows a little bit to the left. And that's around the center line right here. Again, just a, a hint of the brows. I'll go into detail later. All right, 
Now let's do the nose. The nose is kind of like a diamond. Think of it as like a diamond. And uh, it's about, about an eye uh, height down. And I'm just going to put in a diamond just to kind of lock that in. Okay. And then the mouth. Uh, I'm probably going to have the mouth line up the center with this center line over here. So probably around here. And the mouth, I'm just going to indicate with kind of like a V shape for right now. And then the bottom lip. And let's talk a little bit about that. Um, here's the, the nose. And think of this kind of like a triangle or a pentagon that comes off of that. And the mouth can live within this area, like it won't go off to here, uh, but it'll kind of like live in this, this little area. So I'll have, uh, she's going to be smiling, so... Maybe around here. I'm just going to put that in just again, just for placement right now. And then uh, I'm going to put in the chin and the chin will be right around here. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, flesh in all the little features now. So first, let's go ahead and do the eyes. Uh, the eyes, um, again, I mentioned she's a She's got these almond eyes, and uh, she's got really long lashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put in these really nice long lashes, and then they uh, they're longer on the outer edge and they're thicker on the out outer part as well. Uh, so if you think of the eye kind of like a circle and then you build uh, the lash on top of that. It's like a plane that sits on top of the eye. And then again, it's a little bit thicker on the outside. So it kind of looks like that. And see this curve right here? What's nice about this curve is it kind of says that this eye is a, a round shape. So that's, Really nice to have that curve in there. I'm going to go ahead and do that on this side as well. Just put that in there. And then her bottom lids, uh, she's She's going to be smiling, and uh, the you know, the cheeks uh, or, or her mouth corners are up, right? and her cheeks are going up, and the cheeks push the, the bottom lid up. So think of it like like an S shape right here, and then her cheeks are pushing up. So it's it's like this shape right here. And then her cheek is pushing this mass up. And so I have a little bit of a line right here just to indicate that there's this lid right here. So I'll just put a little indication of that right here. And right here. Okay. Uh, for the eye ball itself, um, I'm just going to go ahead and put in a circle for the eye. She's looking at us, so it's a little bit to the right. Okay, and um, for her eyes, her eyes, uh, uh, she has blue eyes, and that's shown in what's called the iris. 
So this is the iris. I have a little bit of a highlight right here. I'm not going to shade that part. Uh, and then I have the pupil. And the pupil is uh, the black part of the eye. And this highlight is going to kind of like take a chunk out of it, kind of like a bite out of that pupil. And then I'm going to go ahead and shade in the iris. So that, that color part. I'm going to shade that part in more toward the top and then leave the bottom part of the iris a little bit lighter. Uh, that's where the, the light hits it. So that's how I'm going to go ahead and draw the eye. So first, let's go ahead and put in the highlight. Again, that's the area I'm not going to shade. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and put in the pupil. Just draw that in. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and shade that pupil in. And then the iris. A little bit more darker on the top part. the other eye. Pupil and the iris. Cool. Something a little bit like that. All right. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and fill in just a little bit darker this bottom lid because she has uh, a bottom lashes too. So I'm just gonna make that line just a little bit darker. I'm thinking about how it's pushing up right here because she's smiling. <sighs> okay. All right, now let's go ahead and do, oh, before we go into the brows, um, there's a line right above the top lid. It's a socket line. Uh, and this is really important to have in there. When we're animating uh, Elsa, uh, this line is very expressive. It actually echoes the shape that the brows are making. Uh, and it kind of it adds that little bit of detail to show what she's, uh, what she's feeling. Cool. And then uh, let's go ahead and do the brows. Um, again, what's really nice about drawing it lightly right now is I could see that I probably want to lift those brows just a little bit. So uh, I only put it in very lightly so I can uh, readjust as I go. For the brows, um, we have the inner side. It's a little thicker and then it tapers off. And then there's a peak. The peak isn't right in the middle, so it's it's not in the middle of the brow, but uh, the peak is more, about a third. So this inner part is longer than this outer part. this brow is up higher too. Cool. All right. Now uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the nose. Uh, the nose, I'm just going to go ahead and 
just put in the, the details of the nostril. Another nostril. Okay. Now for the mouth. So I'm going to do the lips, the top lip first. It's a little thicker toward the center as it goes out. Give her a little bit of a smile. And then for her bottom lip, actually, let me just put in the top lip here. There's the top lip. It's a little thicker in the center. And then the, top, the bottom lip uh, has like these two points. Think of those two points. And then it, the angle changes and it goes up toward the, the corner. And that's the bottom lip. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put in the cheek and uh, right here. Um, sometimes I like to think of it, uh, and this doesn't, this isn't always the case depending on the angle, but um, sometimes I like to think of it kind of like there's this implied line that points to the chin and then the cheek builds off of that. So it comes out and it goes in. And so this is called a convex and a concave. So yeah, depending on the angle, it always it doesn't always do this, but uh, it's something I kind of do. So uh, I'm going to start it from the brow. It goes to midway, about midway uh, of the eye. And then from there, uh, now here's the, the top of the cheek. And it wraps down. And it goes into the chin. Then I'm going to lightly put in the jawline. And have it go up to where the ear will be. And I still kind of do this a little bit light, just so I can adjust if I need to. Okay. So let's now go ahead and do the ear. Put in a slight indication of where the ear will be. And then here's the her sideburns. And then now uh, we're going to do the hair. And she has really cool hair. Uh, so the hair, um, so she has hair that, uh, that starts from the center and it comes out and really cool curves. Uh, it starts out and then it, it swooshes back. Kind of looks like an S, these S shapes. And then there's a top one. And then let's do this other side. And then uh, it actually goes over the ear covers the ear a little bit. Um, there's one strand that goes over her, uh, or uh, right above her left eye. And then uh, there's a little one right here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put that in. So let's just do, start from here. Have it go around here. Have another one come over the ear. Just 
just have fun with this. You know, it's uh, just swooshing it here down. Then there's the, the top one. It was really funny when we were making the film. Uh, uh, there's different groups uh, who worked on the hair. Uh, there's a group called uh, uh, Look Development and Simulation Setup that they would build the hair. And then uh, Technical Animation, they would be the ones animating the hair. Uh, and uh, if they had to critique the hair or call out a part of the hair, they had names for each little clump of the hair. I think this one was called Big Roost, I think. And then this one was Little Roost. So they had fun names for each part of the hair. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this side. Like that. Let's see, let's just let that swoop up. Okay. And then let's put in that one that hangs over. Let's do uh, the braid. Okay, so for the braid, oops, I'm smudging a little. <laughs> That's okay, we can erase out later. Uh, for the braid, um, and she's got this elegant uh, braid from any angle that you draw her. Uh, let's just say if it's like uh, this angle. Um, got her hair that comes around and over, swoops. Okay, so this now comes around, goes behind her neck and over her left shoulder. So same on this side. It comes around and then it goes over her left shoulder. But there's this nice curve that you see happening here. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to have that nice curve. So again, very lightly, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put in an indication of where I'm going to put the, the braid. I'm not doing the braid yet. Let me just put in her neck too, just so we have that as a reference. Okay, so that's where the braid will go. So the braid itself, um, let me show you a little uh, shortcut that I do. It can be a little complex, so I have a little cool little way of doing it. Really simple, just simplifying it. So think of it as like a diamond. Okay, and then you taper the top and then you taper the bottom okay. and then you round this part off. Okay, so that is going to look like something like this. Okay, so it kind of looks like an S here and an S here. And it kind of looks like a leaf, right? So. I've got that, and now I'm going to make several of these. So, like this, then I'm going to put another one, and it's going to be a little bit offset to the left, and another one. And as I go, they're going to get smaller and smaller. Okay, and now we have half of a braid. So for the other half of the braid, I'm going to make a C shape. So starting from right here and then going to here. Okay, and then I'm going to do another one. Then another one. I'm going to keep going till the end. There's a the braid. So I'll do it one more time. Uh, so. 
there's a couple leaves. And then you put a C shape. papers down. And then for the very tip, uh, she has a, a hair strand that ties the braid. And then what you can do is draw a C shape and a reverse S. It almost looks like a little paintbrush. So again, it's a C shape and a reverse S. Cool. So let's go ahead and put that in. I can just have fun with this. Um, you know, it's putting in a leaf. You know, I, I, I just put it in like, you know, just have fun. Okay, and then it gets a little smaller. Cool. And then I'll do a C. Put that in. Very, all of this is very uh, light as well. I'm putting it in very lightly because then I can refine it later. Okay, there we go. Now let's tie that off. The C shape and then the reverse S. Okay, now, oh, um, right here, you see like how this right here has a little chunk like remember how I was saying um, her hair uh, is this nice swoop uh, sometimes if there's a chunk like that in there like there's a notch in their hair or like right here if, if it's like notched um, you could fill this in with a flyaway hair that comes out and then it curls back in so it goes out and then back in. And then that way, the silhouette uh, has that nice curve again. Okay, so let's go ahead and next do her coat. So she has this really cool travel coat uh, that was designed by Brittany Lee. I'm gonna put in her shoulders first. Uh, and the coat has uh, this really cool corner right here to it. And the coat, it comes down. And you can't really see on this side, it's under the hair, but what it looks like is, uh, see so you have her neck and her shoulder. a collar and it comes down it's like a V and then she has a belt we're not going to draw the belt uh, but uh, it goes down to the belt and then uh, you could see the dress that she wears underneath uh, you can see the top part of that this is the one uh, that she when she's running uh, in the dark sea she's got that and then there's this coat and it has this really cool uh, snowflake pattern right here. You could just do little triangles. Okay. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and put that in. So you don't really see it right here, but you do see the the dress underneath and then you can just put it in really lightly the the detail like that around this side the snowflake the snowflake center is in right here on the edge
Cool. So now we're we're pretty close to like having everything in there. Uh, now what we can do is we can just really go ahead and uh, flesh it out. Uh, so uh, all the parts that I I sketched in really lightly, we can go in now and uh, make those lines a little nicer and, and, and darker and have weight to it. Uh, so like here, uh, I'm just gonna have, I'm just gonna make it a little darker and then taper. There's like little details like the ear. I didn't do the inner part. I'm just gonna just a little an indication of the ear. Still keep it simple. I can make the bottom part of the, the hair a little darker. Shows a little bit of weight to that. Have fun with these swirls. She was just a lot of fun to animate. Uh, you kind of miss her after after uh, you finish the film. Uh, she's like a, a real real person uh, to you when you work with her for so long. And uh, yeah, she so so proud of her. She she overcame her fear and uh, you know, she's grown so much. Very happy for her. I'm gonna just go ahead and erase out these construction lines. Um, you don't have to do that, but you know, also if there's any smudges, you know, you can erase out those smudges. <laughs> that's I think that's about it uh, yeah cool well thank you so much for following along I hope you guys had fun bye